You know, every season, Epic Games makes massive changes to the game. You know, some of them are great, but others are completely terrible and just makes us wish the game would revert to the previous chapter. Well, you know, if you've ever had those thoughts, you're not alone, guys, because I think that we can all agree that Fortnite needs to make some huge changes to the game. But your crush show me where you at your motivation guy is back. And today we're going to be talking about, you know, some of the biggest changes that Fortnite needs to make in the next season. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. The next season of Fortnite will be dropping at a time when a whole bunch of other people across the world are off from school as part of their summer break. Making changes in this period of time will go a long way to attract new people and old players to the game. One great way that we think Fortnite could do this is actually by separating the casual and competitive versions of the game completely. What we would really like to see is a more extreme degree of separation from competitive and casual, almost in a similar way to how Save the World and Battle Royale are treated as completely different things. Well, you know, one of the major problems with Fortnite is that the game is just never balanced properly and Epic Games always focuses way too much on one thing. They make massive changes to the game without thinking about both the casual and competitive sides of the community and usually makes changes that seriously favor casual play. And so this unfortunately absolutely ruins the competitive meta. New bugs and glitches and unskilled strategies get introduced into the competitive mode all thanks to the focus on casual play, which straight up just ruins the competitive integrity of the game. What we need is a set competitive meta that gets implemented at the beginning of each season and then doesn't really end up getting changed that much over the course of it. You know, throw as many crazy new mythics and exotics as you want into the casual playlist, but keep them far away from arena and tournaments. We don't want another Infinity Blade scenario, do we? So this change will go a long way to attract new players and might even bring back the old players that were tired of being sweated on by players abusing casual friendly weapons like the Primal Shotgun at the beginning of the season. You know, making casual and competitive Fortnite Battle Royale truly separate experiences would be a great move in the right direction and would allow the developers to focus on issues in one without it affecting the other. You know, as a result, casual can get more get more fun while competitive keeps its integrity. So if you want to hit the ground running, man, in the next season of Fortnite, you should head on over to ProGuys.com where, you know, we've got a bunch of courses that will take you from the absolute basics right up to the most complicated concepts in the game. And all you need to do is hit the link in the top right of the video to get started. So on this subject of huge updates, you know, something that we really need in Chapter 2 Season 7 is a brand new meta that players would have to learn. You know, over the course of the Season 6, you know, we've had to deal with the things like primal and makeshift weapons. And, you know, let's be totally honest, like they haven't exactly been the most fun to play with. <laughs> the removal of the weapons like snipers was met with a lot of hate from the community and having so many weapons in the loot pool that have no first shot accuracy pretty much just stops skillful play in its tracks and forces players to spray and spray in close up build fights. I mean there's really no real variety and if you have mechanical weapons early in the game you're basically just winning just because of good RNG. So removing primal and makeshift weapons in this new season will be a big start but you know there also needs to be some innovation. You know maybe they could build on the crafting systems but you know, just take them in a different direction. You know, we have attachments for cars now, so why not just bring attachments to weapons as well? You know, it would be something totally new to learn and could even go a long way to helping out balancing Fortnite. You know, the current Fortnite Primal map is, isn't really all that great either. Like in the previous season, we were treated to the desert that encompassed the central area of the map. And, you know, once the mechanic was fixed, you could sand tunnel around it for incredibly fast rotations. In the current map, you know, that natural mobility just isn't there because while the spire towers do allow you to travel pretty far you know it's just basically just in one direction and it doesn't really help that epic have removed the other rotation methods like shock waves from competitive and so what we really need guys is for fortnite to bring back something like the ballers or the slipstream so we can rotate around the map easier at the moment you know the center of the map is always uncontested and that's mostly because of the horrible loot and rotation routes that it has and so what we need is for epic to take all the good parts of season 9 and 10 map and the agency authority area and just merge them together to create something new and interesting. You know, the worst thing is, is like the storyline over the course of the past season has very clearly, you know, pointed to different fragments of the chapter one and two map merging together. And we've seen that play out in places like Salty Towers, which has now become the Bony Burbs. And so if we took that concept just a little bit further, it would just be that much of a leap for the slipstream system to return to the game. And so within the current meta, players rely on a lot of luck and their ability to farm materials so that they can protect themselves on long hikes across the map. And so if we added in more natural rotation options, then, then that would just be much less of an issue. And so let's be honest, guys, like mechanics like
like the baller and the slipstreams were fun, you know, bringing them back just makes sense. Bunch of course, saw me. Okay, guys, it's time for the question of the day. Okay, if you have the opportunity to talk to the heads over at Epic and you could change one thing in Fortnite Battle Royale, like literally anything, what would it be? Let us know in the comments down below and we're definitely gonna check it out. All right, back to the video. All right, so something that Epic Games really needs to do if they wanna increase the longevity of the competitive scene is to start introducing better prize pools and more tournaments with prize money. You know, many top tier pros have already quit the game and that's mostly because competitive play isn't as enjoyable as it used to be and that, you know, if you force yourself to play through that, you know, you still aren't going to make enough to make a living off the game anymore. Prize pools have been in a state of absolute and constant decline and these days cash cups have a pretty size of only $600 for first place. And so while it's become clear that Epic likes to focus more on casual gameplay and creative these days, it seems crazy that they just let competitive die out like this. You know, these prize pools may just be fine at the moment, but if they get any worse, players are definitely gonna start dropping out like flies. And so a great way of improving this would be by adding more tournaments into the rotation and bankrolling that by channeling a specific amount of money from you know all V-Buck purchases into the comp season. The last summertime season had daily dual cups, which was arguably one of the most enjoyable times in the competitive you know scene and so the daily duels had you know incredibly small prize pools but they were so frequent that it didn't really matter you know they were also some of the best forms of practice and overall were just incredibly fun you know every single day you would wake up and just have a blast meaning that you were looking forward to playing the game every day and so obviously this is incredibly good for the game because the players involved have a reason to grind the game constantly right you know considering the next season is going to be happening over the summer now would be the perfect time to bring that summer to tournament schedule back. And so alongside dual tournaments, you know, more streamer cups like Epic Well and Mongrel Cups would be pretty great too. And, you know, doing them bi-weekly would bring a ton of players back to grinding Fortnite. Sure, you know, every season has its drawbacks, but if you give your players a reason to keep playing, then Fortnite will be booming again in no time. And so as we mentioned before, you know, one of the biggest flaws that Epic has is chronic inability to just communicate well with its player base. It may seem like the players are always complaining, but, you know, to be honest, a lot of the time it's for a pretty good reason. And so it feels like all the biggest updates are saved for the perfect times like the Apex Legends release. Like every time Fortnite has competition, it survives by releasing some of the most fun updates. Sure, this is good to keep the game alive, but it's also incredibly frustrating to the players who enjoy the game on a daily basis. Fortnite shouldn't just be beating to the drum of the other games, it should be setting out its own rhythm and uploading the most fun updates when players need them, not when the game needs to be saved from the competition. So we also need Epic to actually start talking to the players. Way back in chapter one, we actually used to get proper patch notes, letting us know exactly what changes, you know, whether it be, you know, damage that weapons do, you know, down to the smallest change is on the map and so now all we get is some bullet points on twitter highlighting what epic thinks are the biggest changes of the patch i mean it's just not on man and you know if the game wants to survive there needs to be actual communication from the developers over at epic game do you guys agree i want to know in the comments let me know but your crunch time okay guys those were the biggest changes that we think epic needs to make as we go from season six to season seven now don't get me wrong you know fortnite isn't exactly in a bad place right now i mean a ton of people still play it every single day right but that doesn't mean it can't get better so those are the ways that we think it can improve hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did sub to the channel and if you want to connect with me on my instagram you can at your motivation guy all right i'll see you on the next one keep grinding peace